Hold on guys, an interstellar tunnel has been discovered that leads directly into our solar system. Researchers have a hypothesis about what this mysterious galactic tunnel could be, and it is truly fascinating. Stay tuned to learn all about the new ceiling tunnel. Welcome folks. You'd almost think a science fiction writer had come up with this story. Astronomers have discovered a huge interstellar tunnel that leads directly to our solar system. Could it be the work of extraterrestrial intelligences that have long since found a way to us? Or is there an even crazier explanation behind it? Before you all disappear through the interstellar tunnel, why not leave a subscription for the channel? Don't miss any videos and help me reach my goal of 50,000 subscriptions. There are only a few missing, so I appreciate everyone who helps. Thanks guys. An international team of researchers led by the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics has identified an interstellar tunnel leading to the constellation Centaurus. And the scientists came across this fascinating structure while analyzing data from a space telescope and had no idea what this cosmic shortcut might be. The existence of such a tunnel was previously unknown. Dr. Michael Freiberg, co-author of the study, explains, we knew nothing of the existence of an interstellar tunnel in the direction of Centaurus, cutting a gap into the cooler interstellar medium. The big question now is, of course, what this tunnel could actually be. Interstellar tunnels, one immediately thinks of wormholes. Theoretical connections in space-time that are often discussed in physics. By the way, feel free to write me in the comments which destination in the universe you would most like to travel to if you could travel through a wormhole. Proxima Centauri, Andromeda, the Big Bang, I'm super excited about your travel destinations, but this tunnel is probably not a wormhole. And it is also not theoretical, but really real. The term interstellar tunnel can also refer to gaseous structures in space that have nothing to do with theoretical wormholes. These tunnels consist of gas and dust streams that are formed by physical processes in the interstellar environment. Imagine that the entire galaxy would be filled with different gases and dust clouds, the interstellar medium. This is also the building material, so to speak, from which new stars are formed. And in this medium, there are now veritable tunnels or channels in which there is hardly any gas or dust. These cosmic tunnels are a bit like the Gotthard Tunnel through the Alps just without the legendary summer traffic jam, where families are stuck in overheated cars with whining children and melting ice cream supplies. In the space tunnel, there is free travel at the speed of light, without annoyed space tourists or wanting to go to Centaurus at the same time. And there are definitely no construction sites due to cosmic renovation work. Astronomers have now detected such a tunnel in our cosmic neighborhood. The exciting thing about it is that this tunnel is part of a much larger structure that surrounds our entire solar system. Astronomers call it a local hot bubble. This bubble is a region of interstellar space in our galaxy. It is about 300 light years across and is characterized by extremely thin and hot gas. With temperatures sometimes reaching up to a million degrees, the gas in this bubble is significantly hotter than the surrounding interstellar medium. At the same time, the density is extremely low at only 0.01 to 0.01 atoms per cubic centimeter, making it one of the emptiest known areas of the Milky Way. Right after my bank account, when I've treated myself to a new telescope again. Researchers assume that about 14 million years ago, a whole chain of supernova explosions blew away all the interstellar material in our vicinity, creating a huge cavity with a diameter of about 1,000 light years. So, figuratively speaking, several exploding stars started the cosmic leaf blower and blew away all the gas and dust in our neighborhood. The remaining gas was heated to high temperatures by the enormous energies of the explosion, which explains the temperatures measured today and the shock waves of these supernovae. This also affected and compressed the surrounding gas clouds leading to an irregular ellipsoidal structure of the bubble. The team led by Dr. Michael Yoink from the Max Planck Institute has now created a detailed three-dimensional map of the local hot bubble for the first time. And they came across something fascinating. The bubble is not perfectly round, but has several extensions or tunnels leading away from it, and one of these tunnels points towards the constellation of Centaurus. The discovery of the Zentaurus tunnel is particularly exciting, explains Dr. Jung. It could be a connection to an even larger hot gas bubble located in that direction. The researchers are talking about a so-called super bubble. Imagine if several of these hot gas bubbles were connected by tunnels, almost like a gigantic cosmic subway system. Just like we don't come out at Alexanderplatz, but in a galactic gas bubble. Cool. By the way, the Centaurus Tunnel is not the only one of its kind. 
The scientists have discovered yet another tunnel, the Beta Canis Majoris Tunnel, and this, as the name suggests, leads in the direction of the constellation Canis Major. And this tunnel is not a dead end either, but could lead us to another fascinating structure, the Gum Nebula. This is an enormous gas nebula about 400 light years away from us. So we see, such tunnels can lead us to really exciting objects if we could just fly through them. For this discovery, the researchers used data from Erosita. This is not the female version of Eros Ramazot, <laughs> but a space telescope whose data the researchers have used in a very clever way. Erosita, which stands for Extended X-ray Survey with an Imaging Telescope Array, is a space-based X-ray telescope that was specially developed for observing high-energy X-ray radiation by the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics in Germany. So the researchers not only looked for the hot gas with Erosita, but also looked at where there is no gas. It's almost like creating a map where you not only draw the mountains, but also pay special attention to where the valleys are, explains Dr. Gabriele Ponti, another co-author of the study. The existence of these interstellar tunnels naturally raises an exciting question. Could they be a kind of cosmic highway for the spread of star formation and other astronomical processes? This is quite conceivable, says Doctor. These tunnels could function like a kind of pipeline through which hot gas and other materials move between different regions of the universe. By the way, the first theory about such interstellar tunnels was already proposed. Hold on to your hats in 1974 by astronomers Donald Cox and Barry Smith. The two suspected that supernova explosions could create a whole network of tunnels in the interstellar medium. And almost 50 years later, the data shows that they were right. This once again shows how important long-term research is and that one should invest in projects even if one does not achieve success today. Something could always come in the future. By the way, the temperature distribution in the local hot bubble is particularly exciting. The researchers found that the southern half of the bubble is significantly hotter than the northern half. In the south, they measure about 120 electron volts, while in the north, it is only about 100 electron volts. That doesn't sound like a big difference at first, but it could give us important clues as to how this cosmic structure was formed. It is possible that there have been more supernova explosions in the southern hemisphere in more recent times that have further heated the gas. And another fascinating aspect is the shape of the hot bubble. This is significantly less extended in the direction of the galactic plane, i.e. where most of the stars in the Milky Way are located. This is probably because the denser medium in the galactic plane has impeded the spread of the hot bubble. In other words, the local hot bubble has mainly expanded upwards and downwards out of the galactic plane. So she is a bit lazy and has taken the path of least resistance. Sounds familiar to me. The scientists have discovered something else. The local hot bubble is under tremendous pressure, not because it is under so much stress, but because the hot gas inside it generates a thermal pressure. The researchers have calculated this pressure to be around 10,000 Kelvin per cubic centimeter. This is significantly lower than the typical pressure in other cosmic bubbles. This could indicate that our local hot bubble is open at the top and bottom, and that the hot gas can escape in these directions. But now I can already hear some of you groaning, wow, enough with the facts already. What does all of this mean for us now? On one hand, this helps us better understand how our cosmic home, the local bubble, is structured and how it connects to its surroundings. On the other hand, this shows us once again how dynamic and interconnected our universe is. Even the seemingly empty space between the stars is crisscrossed with super exciting structures and we still don't have a complete overview of what's actually going on out there. As soon as there are news about these interstellar tunnels, I will of course let you know immediately so subscribe to the channel now. Speaking of tension, you all probably know by now that the Phlegraean fields are under enormous tension. I spoke with a real professor and asked him a lot of questions about the current state of the Campi Phlegrae and how likely an eruption is. Be sure to check out the interview by clicking in the top right. It turned out to be really exciting. And if you click on the bottom right, you will find another exciting topic related to space and science. Every click helps the channel a lot. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, guys.